We're ready for some hilarious recurring jokes. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 SpongeBob running gags. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? We're taking a look at our favorite catchphrases, quirks, and all-around funny gags that keep popping up under the sea. Let's get to it. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm not ready. Number 10, meow. This snail's got such a way with words. Snails have been classified as the felines of the sea. So naturally, Gary's dialogue mostly consists of one word. While initially making small kitten noises during the show's early seasons, as time progressed and he became a much more prominent character, Gary soon began meowing in near full sentences. What makes this even funnier is that aside from SpongeBob, nobody fully knows what Gary's actually saying. He could be offering words of wisdom or giving SpongeBob attitude. We may never know, and we're not sure if we're ready to find out. Bring that ladder back this instant! I am really not amused, mister! You are going to take a bath and you are going to get clean right now! I am so the boss of you! Number 9. Old Man Jenkins What? It's Old Man Jenkins in his jalopy. <laughs> Howdy, Mrs. K! Of all the citizens of Bikini Bottom, very few have been name-dropped as much as Old Man Jenkins. What makes this mysterious elderly fish so interesting is that he's been seen in many different shapes and sizes. One day he could be a wide guy with a noisy jalopy, the next day he could be a bluefish eaten by a seahorse, or even an angry farmer who's bitter towards city folk and their flying machines. <laughs> good would come from city folk and their flying machine. In recent years, this particular gag has slowed down since the creators finally settled on Old Man Jenkins' design, a skinny green fish with overalls whose lights aren't always on upstairs. Old Man Jenkins? <laughs> I'm not Old Man Jenkins anymore. I'm King Neptune. Number eight, Mrs. Puff Inflating. They don't call her Mrs. Puff for nothing. Whenever involved in an emotionally stressful situation, she rapidly inflates like an oversized balloon. Oh, SpongeBob, why? On the one hand, it's sad to see how stressful Mrs. Puff's life has become thanks to SpongeBob. It's gotten to the point where she actually has a criminal record. But I don't belong here. It's all a big mistake. However, it's hard not to chuckle at how she's her own personal airbag, made even more fitting by the fact that she's a puffer fish. But Mrs. Puff better be careful not to get too worked up, or she just might pop. Literally. No, SpongeBob! Don't touch the no! Number 7. Explosions. <laughs> Did we mention that the show is an explosive success? Turns out that it's also a literal statement since explosions are a common occurrence in Bikini Bottom. Sometimes they'll happen when someone comes crashing down or when they've eaten too many Krabby Patties. And then there are times all it takes is a light tap and the whole place goes up in smoke. Hey guys, I finished that. Of course, the best kinds of explosions are the ones that happen for no actual reason, which in turn increases the cartoony, zany charm that we love about this absorbent show, so long as we don't get caught in the crossfire. I can't find the coin slot! Here it is! <laughs> Number 6. Time Cards One extremely annoying shift later. Need a hilarious method of emphasizing how much time has passed in an episode? The series excels at this with its own colorful, handy-dandy time cards, conveniently read aloud by the series' French narrator. It doesn't matter how much time has passed, a few hours, a couple of days, or even nearly 2,000 years. It could even take so long that they need a new narrator. Two, 
thousand years later. What makes this gag even funnier is when the cards display an absurd or silly saying that really shows off how painfully long something can take. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Here's to hoping that they don't run out of these cards as there is no shortage of hilarity as time passes. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Number five, Plankton's constant failures. A mashy patty pirate! This is no ghost. This is Plankton stealing me booty! Hear me, crabs. When I discover your formula for Krabby Patties, I'll run you out of business. For years, Plankton has tried and failed to steal the secret formula to Mr. Krabs' world famous Krabby Patties. There's no level that Plankton won't stoop to, pun intended, to achieve this goal. His schemes range from ingenious and conniving to harebrained, and full of holes. Despite him putting his best foot forward, it always ends in failure either because of his own arrogance or because he's been outsmarted by Mr. Krabs, and it usually ends with him being launched all the way back to the chum bucket. Allow me to do the honors. Eh, yeah! Ah! It's really for the best that Plankton never finds out the secret formula, or it'll spell certain doom not only for the Krusty Krab, but for all of Bikini Bottom. And the secret formula is one bottle of molten lotion, take passport photo, get new safe travel size. This isn't the secret formula, it's a to do list! Yeah! Number four, evil! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were once the greatest superheroes under the sea. However, decades of crime fighting have taken their toll on the duo, especially the former. In any given situation, he will panickedly scream the word evil. Sometimes he'll even shout it out if he hears someone say it. But you can't retire. There's evil afoot. What? <laughs> evil? The way his voice cracks whenever he screams the line is just too priceless. And late actor Ernest Borgnine owned it in a way that his character's stand-in actors could only dream of. We've got to keep up our strength for the fight against evil! We wouldn't exactly classify laughing at a senile old man as appropriate, but the way the show sells it with both his voice and overall reaction is comedy gold. Oh, but forget you people. I say if you're not gonna give me any respect as a hero, then maybe you'll give me respect as a villain. A villain who is evil. Evil? Evil? Evil! Number three, Squidward's annoying neighbors. <laughs> How did Squidward ever get surrounded by such crazy neighbors? Nearly every day, this grumpy cephalopod finds himself reluctantly dealing with SpongeBob and Patrick's shenanigans. They could be disturbing his peace and quiet with their playtime, show up at his house uninvited, or even worse, they could end up destroying his personal property, with Squidward getting hurt in the process. Hey, Rematch next Saturday? Rain or shine, SpongeBob. Rain or shine. No matter how hard he tries, he can't seem to get rid of them or keep them quiet. And any attempt to do so always makes things worse. How? Intruder alert! Intruder alert! What's the matter with you? No threat detected. Oh, you infernal contraption! I'm gonna ship you off to the scrap heap you came from! Threat detected. <laughs> To their credit, our favorite knuckleheads don't usually try to ruin Squidward's day on purpose, but it's hard to ignore them when they have a tendency to cause so much chaos. Number 2. SpongeBob Failing His Boating Test SpongeBob has taken his driving test more times than anyone in history, and it always ends in failure. I don't know why, Gary. I don't know. I'm tired of failing that boating test. I've already taken it 37 times. No matter how confident and optimistic he may be, he's a reckless disaster behind the wheel, much to the agony of poor Mrs. Puff. I'm sorry, Mrs. Puff. I'm sorry. The 
wheel, SpongeBob. The wheel. Genie, I'm a genie. Even if there's a slight chance of him finally earning his coveted license, it's yanked away by the end of the episode. He can't even get his license in his dreams. Mrs. Puff, look, I finally got my driver's license. Not even in your dreams, Mr. Squarepants. No! It could be easier to just give SpongeBob a license just to end the cycle, but that would only spell a greater doom for Bikini Bottom. Plus, we'd lose the chaotic yet hilarious dynamic between SpongeBob and Mrs. Puff, so perhaps it's for the best that SpongeBob's quest is a fruitless endeavor. I'll take that. SpongeBob, I'll get you for this! I'll get you! While SpongeBob may never get his driver's license, we do hope that he never stops trying. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Ow. Finally, the Krabby Patty secret recipe! <laughs> How about this one? I call it bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash! <laughs> Sorry, I must have missed that one. Good morning! Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Chocolate! 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 Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. My Leg Taking our number one spot is the Wilhelm scream of Nickelodeon. Whenever there's pandemonium or destructive chaos in Bikini Bottom, you're almost always guaranteed to hear the painful cry of my leg in the mix of it all. What would this town do without you, SpongeBob? Oh, my leg! My leg! One recycled soundbite used throughout the first few seasons blossomed into one of the funniest catchphrases of the series, brought to life by series writer and voice actor Doug Lawrence. I see you, Zap. There have been several variations of the line, but the hilarious, agonizing context is what makes this gag so iconic. Seriously, you know a throwaway line is popular enough when they make an entire episode as an homage to the joke. Why are you following my leg? Fred, you have to listen to me. Your leg is in constant danger. Isn't that so, Patrick? I think I hurt my leg. Needless to say, SpongeBob is chock full of hilarious running gags. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.